The objective of the station is to mobilize properly and prepare a patient with a possible spinal injury for transport. You have chosen the supine card. Your patient's conscious alert as a suspected cervical spine injury. Your partner will work under your direction. Please be sure your partner understands and performs according to your instructions. You'll be evaluated individually on your performance and the directions you give to your partner. You have 15 minutes to complete the skill. You'll be stopped at 15 minutes and evaluated on your performance to that point. You may utilize whatever equipment is available in the station. All equipment preloaded or assembly must be part of the time procedure. You may place any materials you need adjacent to your patient. Before you begin, you may examine the equipment and assure yourself it's sufficient for your purposes and working properly. Please tell me when you're ready to start. Ready, sir. Okay, good luck. CCATBSI, I'm going to direct my partner to come in and take inline mobilization of the C-spine. Okay. I'm going to approach my patient. Sir, how are you doing today? My name's Joe with the ambulance company. You okay if I check you out? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to check for radio pulses. Making sure they're present at equal both sides. Sir, can you feel me touching you? Yes. And same on both sides? Yeah. And can you squeeze my hands? Okay. Good equal grip strength. Moving down to the feet, I'm going to check the shoes will be removed. We're going to check for pedal pulses, making sure they're present and equal. Sir, can you feel me touching you? Yep. And the same on both sides? Yeah. And can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay. So at this time, I'm going to get my collar. With my partner holding C-spine, I'm going to measure from the trapezius to the angle of the jaw. Measure against where it sits on the collar. Make sure that it's sized appropriately and that it is locked into place. So, working around my Parker, let me slide this through. This will be applied on bare skin. I'm going to scoop this into place, make sure that this is secure. Okay. Partner's going to maintain C spine. This will be on bare skin. We're still going to see to the window for JVD or tracheal deviation. I'm going to reassess pulses. Good, strong pulses, even on both sides. Can you feel me touching you, sir? Yes. Still the same? Yes. And can you squeeze my hands? Checking the pedal pulses again. Shoes removed. Good, strong pedal pulses. Can you feel me touching you, sir? Yeah. Same on both sides? Yes. And can you wiggle your toes for me again? All right. Maintain C-spine for me. I'm going to set up the board. So I'm going to attach my headbed to the long board. We'd have at least two on the side of the patient. Where would you place them? Where would I you would, place those two rescuers? I would have one up in the chest to be able to get the shoulder and the pelvis. We try to have interlocking arms of the pelvis and the lower legs to have a secure and unified movement of the patient towards us. And then we would place our long board into position on the headman's count again. We would log roll the patient onto the board and make sure they were properly positioned on the board. Okay, so at this point, your partner can let go of stabilization. You can have your partner slide onto the board, adjust him up or down however you feel that he should be. And when you're comfortable with where your partner, where your patient is on the board, your partner can take up stabilization again. Okay. All right, so you can skew it up for me. All right. And so position here. All right. So Move your head over to the side and a little bit more center towards me, sir. Perfect. My patient is now positioned where I like him on the board. 
Okay, Don can take up stabilization, he can continue the station. Okay, now with the mobilization in place and the patient on the board, we're now going to start to apply our straps to secure the patient to the long board. We're going to use our quick clips. We're going to secure these to the board. We're going to start the chest to immobilize the torso. method so as not to grossly manipulate the patient. I want to make sure that the buckle is not over the chest in case we need to do CPR and I would be patting these buckles that are against the skin. Our second strap we're going to use to immobilize the pelvis. So we're immobilizing the pelvic bone, secure our strap using the feeding method, making sure that we're on the bone, not going over soft tissue of the abdomen. And again, we would be patting this buckle, that's against the skin. Okay. You doing okay, sir? Yes. All right. And with that third strap, we want to immobilize the legs, so we're going to come above the knees, where we have the majority of the weight. The lower extremities. We would be padding in between the legs to keep them in more of that neutral position and more comfortable position for our patient. Make sure we're able to feed our straps. All right. So again, making sure we're not over the joint. Padding between the legs. Patting our buckle. All right. All of our straps are secure. Your finger breath. You doing okay, sir? Yes. All right. So now, as a last step to securing the patient to the board, we're going to use our head blocks. I'm going to work around my partner. We're going to come in. I'm going to make sure that this block comes in. Slide your hand out, take over the block. So as not to release C-spine, we're coming down, we're making sure the secure is against the head into the shoulder. All right, good position there. My partner has a mobilization. We're now gonna secure with straps. So we're gonna come under the collar, making sure not to cause deformity. We will secure this to our Block. So we want to secure. There we go. You doing okay, sir? Yes. All right. This one will go over the forehead. Again, working with my patient and my partner. and in place. Keep holding C-spine for me. I'm going to check one more time our CSMs. Checking for radio pulses, making sure that they're present, equal. You feel me touching you? Yes. Same on both sides? Yes. And can you squeeze my hands? All right. Feel the pulses again over your skin. Present and equal. Can you feel me touching you, sir? Yes. Same on both sides? Yes. And can you wiggle your toes? All right. At this time, I'll direct my partner to release C-spine. We would take our patient, mobilized on the long board, transport him to the hospital, transfer care to an equal higher health care provider. Okay, thank you.